talking about about talking so to a to dog and he talks to a dog and he talks about the fact that Arrest he almost lost a cat are you kidding me? He almost lost a cat. Jill and I know what it's like to lose. This guy has been lying from the moment he came on the political scene. He has a lack of empathy. He is egocentric. He's got a condescending smirk whenever anybody asks him a question from the press. He's lying and he's narcissistic. Just tuned in to the Murdoch Meltdown Network. Here's proud MAGA nut Judge Janine calling Joe Biden an egomaniac who lacks empathy. All for patting a dog while in Hawaii, seemingly forgetting that she caught up to a quad dieted former cult leader in chief who responded to a hurricane under his reign by doing this. <laughs> oh, nothing says empathy like free throwing paper towels. I also did not hear this kind of criticism of Donald Trump's characters when he threw paper towels oh. at people in Puerto Rico. <laughs> got him. We fucking got him. Or a comment about the IG report from the housing department that showed the $20 billion is of aid really was with- what about yes, is it? And we're talking about Joe Biden and the American people. But feel not, amidst the screeching comes clarity. As liberal Fox News host Jessica Talov was, as she usually is, on hand to firstly fact check the lies circulating concerning Biden's response to the wildfire in Maui. But there have been so many craven lies told about the timeline of the response on this. Jesse just said his first comments were no comment, which is categorically untrue. So that was on August 13th. The wildfire started on August 8th. On August 10th, that's when a major disaster declaration occurred. He got the call, the request from Hawaii to do that. It took him just 63 minutes to sign that. He signed a then, piece of paper. That, I'm talking about but significant and then, public and, comments. Just wait for it. And then later that day, he was in Utah talking about something else, and he opened up by commenting on what was going on in Hawaii and how devastating it was. Listen to what the governor of Hawaii, Josh Green, said. Within six hours, the administration met our needs with federal movement. I don't think that's ever happened before. The Maui County mayor, I wanted to say how responsive the president has been. He called me. I asked for the help that we needed. And within two hours, one of his cabinet members called me to answer my question. We've been getting all the help that we need. That's the Maui the mayor. Just, just pointing that out. Right, and you don't think at a time when there are hundreds of people dead and there's another thousand people that are missing that the Maui mayor wouldn't have said, Joe Biden is lying to you when he says that they Oh, care. you gotta be nice, you gotta you're be gonna... nice. You have to be nice because you're hoping so, for something. That, that, that... You're hoping for all the things that he got. The FEMA aid came in. I, I saw Republicans criticizing him. Why do you only give them $700? That's the FEMA limit. This thing about the ground, the hot ground, he was talking to a dog whose yeah. paws are on the ground. It's not like he's oh, saying to Oh, what people, a guy talking about, about talking so to what? a so dog. The, the are you around. kidding me? This are is you a kidding? guy who goes. Before reminding her woefully ignorant co-hosts of how Trump reacted to natural disasters under his watch. Okay, that's great. The I think they're really good. Okay, so the judge knows how government budgets work. The money for Ukraine has nothing to do with the money for Hawaii. I also did not hear this kind of criticism of Donald Trump's characters when he threw paper towels oh. at people in Puerto Rico or a comment about the IG report from the housing department that showed the $20 billion this of is aid really was with... what about yes, is it is. We're talking about Joe Biden and the American people. No, no one else. No, you're talking about this person being uniquely unempathetic, incapable of connecting with people and a liar. Well, he's... Did. No, he... I mean, look... You're hoping for all the things that he got. The FEMA aid came in. I, I saw Republicans criticizing him. Why do you only give them $700? That's the FEMA limit. All of which they took no issue with at the time. Now, as we've seen week after week, she brings receipts to a clown show. And while we all wish we lived in a world in which this wasn't necessary, as a reminder, Fox remains one of the most watched news channels in America. I know, it sucks. I hate this place this zoo. But nonetheless, that's why we must highlight instances like this. Do you think that she read the whole thing and just decided to cherry pick something? I, I do think that she read the whole thing. And I think that it's an incredibly complex piece. When you look at the 191 passages, you have some good. And, and frankly, I'm just fundamentally uncomfortable with the sentence that blacks benefited at all from this. And 
I, you know, it made me think as someone, obviously I'm not black, but I'm Jewish. Would someone say about the Holocaust, for instance, that there were some benefits for Jews, right? While they were hanging out in concentration camps, you learned a strong work ethic, right? Maybe you learned a new skill. Did you ever I mean, read Man's Search for Meaning? Vic Frankel talks about how you had to survive in a concentration yeah. camp by having skills. You had to be useful. Utility. Utility okay. kept you but alive. But we're also talking about middle schoolers here. And there's a lot of concern about what age people are prepared to understand complex issues. I'm not sure that 12 is the right age to start hearing things like, eh, and when you were enslaved here in America. What about you gender? Think this is Your bold-faced lies are met with context and clarity. Most of the Fox News hosts know what they're spewing isn't true. It'd take two minutes to research the female response limit or even pull up what Hawaii Senator Brian Schatz said in regards to the response from the Biden administration. Lahaina is one of the most special places on the planet. It was the seat of power for the Hawaiian kingdom. It was a whaling town. It was a plantation town. And most recently, a vibrant, multicultural, coastal community. And it was gone in an instant. These fires have completely devastated families and communities, and the loss is unimaginable. We mourn parents, grandparents, and kids aunties and uncles, friends and neighbors, to the first responders who put their own lives at risk to save others, and to everyone on Maui who has been working around the clock to help this community while your own lives have been turned upside down, mahalo. Please know that we are going to do everything we can to get you the help that you need. This is the deadliest natural disaster that Hawaii has ever seen, and as a result, this is the biggest federal response that Hawaii has ever seen. But we will need more support from everyone. The Maui community will pull together and chart its own future. But the scope of this tragedy means that we will need everyone in Hawaii and across the country. The work will continue and we will be there every step of the way. But the thing is, that won't rile up the boomers like yelling about a dog, which by the way, side note, if you take issue with, you are a sociopath. You guys catch the boots out here? That's a hot girl, man. Talking about, about talking so to a so dog? Are you around. kidding me? So yeah, I guess that makes sense. But it's straight from the tan suit playbook. But when shown the receipts, they have nothing in response. Hey Midas Mighty, love this report? Continue the conversation by following us on Instagram, at Midas Touch, to keep up with the most important news of the day. What are you waiting for? Follow us now.